guys, this has been by far my most favorite uh, little camera since I've started creating tutorials. And we're gonna talk about the Insta360 Go. I bought the Insta360 Go mostly to use it for behind the scene for my filmmaking tutorials. And this has proven to be very useful. So to give you an idea, we're going to look at the build and handling of the 360 Go. We're gonna look at the performance and shooting modes. We're also gonna take a look at the app which comes with an editing tool and my final thoughts on it. There will be a timestamp below if you want to skip or go back to a particular part of the video. Okay, let's talk about build and handling of this little thing. The Insta360 Go weighs less than 20 grams and is literally the size of my pinky finger or the size of something else. <laughs> he means the size of his small brain. I need to stop this jokes. It did hit the ground uh, a couple of times, but it still works like a charm. The front is made out of plastic and the back is out of metal. The metal part is actually magnetic and can be attached to any metal surface. You can wirelessly charge this camera on the go using the battery case, which will magnetically attach to it. Super awesome. Also on the back, you will find a small button to turn the camera on and off. The camera is also water resistant, which means it can handle splashes and rain, but it's not waterproof. You can submerge it into water, but for only around 10 seconds, but I wouldn't recommend doing it. So the way to record video with the Insta360 Go is really simple. While the camera is off, pressing the button once will start uh, record a 15 second video. That is what I use most often, but in the option, you can also set it to record 30 seconds or 60 seconds. Well, when I record B-roll or behind the scene, usually I don't need much footage, just a really short duration. So turning the camera on with a longer press will allow you to access other recording features. Pressing the button once will take a photo. Pressing the button twice will allow you to do a hyperlapse video. With three presses, you can take a 15 second slow motion video. One thing that I really like is that the camera responds to each of these commands with a short vibration. It lets me know if the recording has started or if the recording has stopped. Also a white light will start flashing that will let you know when a video has started recording. Now, if you're starting out, the controls might be confusing, but if you do it a couple of times, it's really not hard to understand. At first, I thought the video recording limit of 60 seconds wouldn't be enough, but after using it for a while, I really like the idea of it, and I usually don't need 60 seconds, especially for behind the scenes video. You can really just tap it once and it does all the work for you. The Insta360 Go has motion stabilization, which helps with the smoothness of the video. It almost looks like as if I would hold a gimbal. The way how it works is that this camera records 2720 by 2720, which is a high resolution image and takes a portion of the frame and processes it into creating a stabilized video. For a small camera like this, I find the video quality really impressive. It's not really GoPro quality, but still a small camera like this one um, produces smooth, stabilized video with nice punchy colors. Now you probably wouldn't use this for bigger video productions, but for posting videos on social media or using as an additional camera to capture B-roll, this is certainly great because it really is easy to use. The fixed lens gives you an ultra wide angle perspective perspective, which is great for getting everything in the shot, especially if you're not able to do a live view with this camera. There is no screen on it and you can't really monitor live over your phone. I don't recommend using this one in low light situations since it produces a lot of noise and makes the footage unusable. So with the action camera, you get a few useful attachment options. So the way to use the magnetic pendant is to strap it around your neck and attach the camera to your chest. It has a soft silicon pad that faces the body, which helps keep it in place. I recommend mounting your camera on a one single layer of clothing, otherwise it could easily fall off. Having it this way will allow you to capture POV shots. 
So the pivot stand is great for sticking it on surfaces like your helmet or car. You can easily angle it to get the necessary shots you need. The easy clip is great for doing uh, sports or any kind of extreme activity that keeps the camera in place. This is definitely the safest option and what I use most for my behind the scenes tutorials. All right, let's talk about performance. So the battery on this Go lasts for 60 minutes, which means you can take around 200 video clips, averaging around 20 second clips. For me, that is more than enough, but if I need to record more, I can easily transfer the clips to my iPhone with the case and delete them from my camera. Now I've been shooting a lot with this uh, during the winter as well, and it drains the battery twice as fast. It's important to keep it warm or keep it in the case uh, so that it uh, won't drain the battery as quick. Now the Go comes with a small charging case that takes around 20 minutes to uh, recharge it. The case holds another 2.5 hours of charge and also protects the lens from damage. If you want to charge the case, there is a micro USB port on the side here. Uh, what's great is that the charging case has an Apple Lightning connection, which allows me to transfer the footage to my iPhone quickly. Okay, so let's talk about the different shooting modes. So you're able to record up to 60 seconds of video. Now it happened to me a lot that I accidentally pressed a button and then it all of a sudden started recording. You have to be careful of that. Now you also have the hyperlapse mode, which are able to create a moving time lapse that speeds up the video at six times normal speed. You can also of course take a time lapse using the pivot stand. As for slow motion, you can capture a 15 second clip at 100 frames frames per second. Now you can also take still photos with this, but that is the least feature I use because the image quality looks just decent and I rather use my iPhone to take pictures. So let's look at the Insta360 Go app. You can pair your smartphone with the camera via Bluetooth that allows you to control it wirelessly. When connecting the charging case to your phone, it will instantly transfer all of the clips to the app. Once all footages have been transferred, the footage will auto delete from the camera. Now I prefer it that way so that I don't have to manually delete the clips. Using the app will give me access to the editing tools, which is great if I want to edit my videos on the go and export it quickly to my social media. I can trim, speed up and add royalty free music to my clip. I'm also able to adjust exposure, temperature, contrast to complete the look. So is it worth buying the Insta360 Go? To me, this action camera is really great for shooting behind the scenes, like I said before. This is super valuable. Also for you guys, so that you know what's happening. The cool thing is that it's wearable, doesn't take up much space, and it also doesn't draw a lot of attention like when using a GoPro. Also in terms of framing, when I film myself, I don't have to think about it because it's an ultra wide angle view. Now I think this is also great for capturing B-roll. With a single press, I can start recording the moment while also being in the moment. The short recording time doesn't bother me at all since I don't really need to capture the entire day. That would be boring anyways. I'd rather capture those short memorable moments which also makes it easy for me to edit the story together. The video quality is decent when shooting in good lighting situations. For vloggers that need additional footage, this action camera offers really good shooting modes. Now because of the recording time limit, it might not be great for talking head video. Now I also did a short vlog with this so that you can see for yourself. So I'm doing a little audio test here. Um, it shouldn't sound that bad. It's not so windy outside also. And yeah, the weather is actually pretty nice currently. The sun is shining and I should get a pretty decent uh, image quality. Now the audio quality isn't that bad, uh, but if it's windy outside, you get a lot of noise. So overall, I'm really happy that they created this unique type of action camera. I could see myself wearing it on every shoot. Definitely adds a lot of value to my videos. So guys, let me know what you think about the Insta360 Go. If you like this video, then leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so that I can keep creating awesome tutorials for you guys. Thank you so much for that. Make sure to also follow me on Instagram at Bennett Grazer. Make sure to check out these two videos that will certainly improve your mobile filmmaking skills or filmmaking skills in general. Thank you so much for watching. Stay creative and I will see you in the next video guys. See ya.